We're starting a silky hatching project. We've got some friends that want some baby silkies this year. And our silkies are always broody, so we're gonna pick them up right now while it's nighttime. Let me make sure their door's closed. Gonna close the chicken guard. So we're gonna pick up all the silkies. We'll move them over into their own coop so they can start to make silky babies. Hang on, Eli. All right, we've got our white silky hen. We've got this coop open down here. Go ahead. So this little coop that we built last year, we're gonna move all the silkies into there. I think we've got about four or five. There's our rooster snowball. So we've got four of this them. This one's actually a blue. It looks black, it's dark. It's actually a blue that we got from McMurray Hatchery last year. We've got this black silky. And then we've got a white silky hen along with our white silky rooster. So should, we should get a good combination of colors from them. So tonight, they'll roost up there. Tomorrow we'll get them some food and water. I'll go get them some water right now. Hey, be quiet. And then we'll get them a nest box so they can lay their eggs. Hopefully one of them will go broody. They always do. Let's get started on the silky hatching project. So we are pretty big fans of breakfast around here and especially cereal. So we were really excited when we got this to try out. You wanna get this out, Eli? Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented and they've got four flavors in their variety pack. This is the Frosted. This is the peanut butter. We've got the fruity. And the cocoa. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs and only 140 calories yeah. per serving. They're keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, and GMO free. Now, without any sugar, is this stuff any good? Let's find out. Which one do you want to try? Get all of your cereal, bud. It's good. Tastes like peanut butter. And I'm gonna try the frosted cereal. Yeah, that's really good. Is it, is it good? Magic Spoon so confident in their product that it's backed with 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So just use our link in the description and use the code WHITEHOUSE for $5 off your first order. What flavor will you try? Can I have a bite of the fruity? Well, for the silkies, I've got to make a couple nest boxes because they're just laying on the ground in that little chicken tractor. So I've got the piece of plywood all cut. I'm going to glue them and then I'm going to nail gun them right over here. There we go. Simple, easy nest box. Let's go take it over to the silkies. I get these aspen shavings off of Amazon. So that fits in there real nicely. They can't tear it up too quickly like they would with wood chips or straw or something like that. All right, we've got our four silkies set up. We've got two eggs, two nest boxes, food and water. We'll come back as soon as they start sitting on some eggs. Thanks for your help. You can do better than that, Uriah. Whoa! Oh, whoa. How many eggs we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So Woo is our silky I am Chimani cross that we hatched out a year and a half ago or a year ago. And none of our other silkies have wanted to go broody yet since being in here. So we brought her over so she'd sit on them. So she's doing a great job sitting on these eggs so far. When'd you put her in? Put her in last night. She was wanting to sit on the eggs on the other coop, so I just brought her over. That's perfect. As long as she'll sit on these eggs, then we'll check back 21 days from now and hopefully we'll have some baby silkies. Woo, our broody hen is over here sitting on 15 eggs that are due to hatch any day now. She's up for a little bit just to eat and drink. Good thing, she's gotta do that every day. So every day she'll abandon the eggs for just a little bit and then she'll get back on them. So hopefully she can hatch them out. So Wu has been sitting on our silky eggs for about 18 to 19 days and they should be hatching here pretty soon. So we get a lot of questions about broody hens. How do we get a chicken to go broody? How do we get them to sit on the eggs? How do we get them to raise their young? But there's many breeds, especially the hybrid breeds, the big egg laying breeds, even heritage breeds that will just never go broody and will never sit on eggs. So we have a handful of breeds, our silkies, cochins. Every once in a while we've got some other breeds that will want to sit on eggs. But silkies and cochins, if you're looking for a breed that'll do it, they'll be the ones that'll do it. Now what if you don't want a chicken to go broody and they keep sitting on eggs? What do you do? You have to just keep taking them off the nest and sometimes you even and have to take them away from their nesting area. If you can keep them away from their nesting box, then they'll eventually not go Brody. <laughs>
Hi. And Wu stayed on her eggs the whole time. I counted the eggs today, Becky. We've got 15 eggs under there. Wow. I don't know if she'll be able to hatch out all those or not. But she was up today for a little bit, and I was worried, but then she got right back on them, and everybody was laying over there. All right, waiting for you to hatch out some eggs. All right, so we're on day 22, which usually these chicks are hatching by day 19, 20 at the latest, and then fully hatching by day 21. So we're a little concerned that nothing has started hatching yet, but I want to check right now and just see if anything's pipping, making sounds, starting to hatch. Let's check under wool. Wait, is it pip? No, it's just... Oh, I'm hearing peeping somewhere. There it is. There it is. Our first pip. We're gonna definitely have one coming out. That's great. So we thought everything was running a little late, but maybe our timing was just off and it's time for them to start hatching. I heard some tapping in a few of the eggs. One's definitely on its way out, so. You ready to see some baby chicks? So many cute little silkies. Look at these guys. This one's working on its way out. Another one pipping. Oh man, we had our first one hatch last night. And look what we've got now. Woo, you're doing such a great job. We've got three little chicks that have hatched out. One looks, looks like it's gonna be all white, and then we've got two that are a, a mix. Looks like there are white and black mixtures between them. We'll see how they turn out, they'll be really cool. We've got another one that's working on its way out, about halfway hatched, and another one that's pipped. So 30s and 40s at night, so very grateful that this mama hen is sitting on them and keeping them warm, so we don't have to worry about that. Out not too long ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Look at that. White with black stripes on the back. How cool. You ever seen one like that before? No, it's it's very different. Lou's probably gonna sit on them for party today. I bet she starts getting up with them because they're gonna be anxious to get up and eat and drink. And we'll be here to show you them eating and drinking for the first time. How's Bud and Quail doing? They're doing good. Today, though. This is Shammy, our Shammy Fitzalvin. We hatched them out a couple months ago. Great weather today, so we'll put them outside. This is Izzy, our Isbar. Hearing a little crow in here sometimes. I think it's coming from this one. Lots of grass for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And the day after the chicks hatched, they were ready to leave their nest. Come follow their mom down to get some food or drink. It takes a lot of courage to follow their mama. Some weren't quite ready for it. And this is a big reason why we love having broody chickens hatch out our chicks, to teach them the ways of being a chicken. All right, we've got Wu here, and we've got our chicks. We brought them out. We can take a better look at them and show you how many end up hatching. So we had nine chicks hatch and we had one black, several gray or blue, and several white, and then we had one that was striped. Super cool coloring on this one. I think the lines are gonna stay on, and then uh, yellow would turn away and turn white. Yeah. 
What do you I got here? Don't turn white. All white, because I see it's turn white gray on the bottom. So we had a really efficient hatch with nine hatching. Out of the 15 eggs, two others had developed, and so there were only four that didn't develop at all. So pretty good with 15 eggs underneath Wu. She was able to hatch nine of them and almost a couple more. Now the nice part is, is that we don't have to do much for these chicks other than put food and water out, because Wu will show them how to do everything. Now the reason why we hatched these out is for a friend that wanted silkies, so we're gonna have to divide them out and take them over to her so that she can have some baby chicks. So we'll give her four chicks and then we'll keep five. That one's your favorite? Huh? That's cool. My favorite is Puffy. You're not quick enough. Going to a good home. Have fun. Thank you. Come along. See you next time. You got an egg. <laughs>